Welcome to our channel. In this video, we're going to explain in minutes what a stock market really is, and how you can understand it if you are a beginner. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share this video with those in need. Let's get right into it. A stock market is a place where individuals and organizations can buy and sell shares of publicly traded companies. It is a complex and constantly changing ecosystem that reflects the health and performance of the economy, as well as the financial success of individual companies. To understand the stock market, it is important to first understand what a stock is. A stock is a share of ownership in a publicly traded company. When a company goes public, it offers shares of stock for sale to the public in order to raise capital. Investors can then buy these shares, becoming part owners of the company and potentially profiting from its success. The stock market is where these shares of stock are bought and sold. It is made up of exchanges, such as the New York Stock Exchange, NYSE, and the NASDAQ, where buyers and sellers come together to trade stocks. These exchanges provide a central marketplace where buyers and sellers can find each other, negotiate prices, and complete transactions. The stock market is driven by supply and demand. When there is a high demand for a particular stock, the price will go up as buyers compete for limited shares. Conversely, when there is a low demand for a stock, the price will go down as sellers try to find buyers willing to take it off their hands. There are many factors that can affect supply and demand in the stock market. Some of these factors are related to the individual companies whose stocks are being traded. For example, positive news about a company's financial performance or future prospects can increase demand for its stock, driving up the price. Conversely, negative news or poor performance can decrease demand, causing the price to drop. Other factors that can affect the stock market include macroeconomic trends, such as interest rates, inflation, and overall economic growth. For example, if the Federal Reserve raises interest rates, investors may be less likely to buy stocks, as they can get a higher return on their money from other investments. This can lead to a decrease in demand for stocks and a corresponding drop in prices. One of the key functions of the stock market is to facilitate capital formation. By allowing companies to sell shares of stock to the public, the stock market provides a way for businesses to raise the capital they need to invest in growth and expansion. This, in turn, can create jobs and stimulate economic activity. The stock market also provides a way for investors to diversify their portfolios and potentially earn a return on their investments. By investing in a range of stocks across different industries and sectors, investors can spread their risk and potentially earn a return that outpaces inflation. However, investing in the stock market also involves risk, as the value of stocks can fluctuate wildly and even companies that seem strong and profitable can run into financial trouble. In order to participate in the stock market, individuals typically work with a broker or investment advisor who can help them navigate the complexities of investing. Investors can choose to invest in individual stocks or in mutual funds, which are collections of stocks managed by a professional investment manager. Overall, the stock market plays a crucial role in the economy by providing a way for companies to raise capital and for investors to potentially earn a return on their investments. However, it is a complex and dynamic system that requires careful attention and analysis in order to succeed. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next educative financial video. Let us know in comments what topic you want us to develop in our next videos.